We all knew that most of these smaller companies, the mid-sized companies, were doing wonderful work. They needed a place where they'd look better and sound better than where they were. We did not have the money, the time, or even the interest to create a very fancy building from the outside. Well, what we needed was perfect acoustics and unencumbered sight lines. This whole project turned out to be just a test of determination and perseverance. And it was a good thing we had a vision that we all believed in because I guess that's what got me out of bed every morning. People in the city recognized the importance of the idea. However we bumped along, we, nobody was willing to let go of this. It kept changing. It was John Bryan and Jim Feldstein in Millennium Park that allowed this to be once again transformed and this time it worked. When I came on this board, it was about 2000, and standing on Randolph Street over construction wood barriers and looking down at a, at a dirt hole and trying to dream and believe that we were gonna have a theater there. And finally it just came together. We unlocked it got the building built, got it finished, and got to November 8, 2003. It was an amazing night. I get goosebumps a lot walking in here, and I have to kind of remind myself that um, I played a part here in getting this all up and running. It's so much bigger than all of us, and it has been so successful. It wasn't until we were into perhaps our third year that we had the opportunity to bring in a company from out of the city, and that was New York City Ballet. It just catapulted us to the national stage overnight. And so we went from being a, a small regional theater to a small national theater in three years. And that was really a very important moment for us in the life of the Harris. With the addition of our own presenting season, we now have been able to attract artists from all over the world, therefore then attract audiences. It creates a halo effect for all of the other artists that perform here. Joan used to talk about it years and years ago that, that her vision was that people would say, let's go to the Harris Theater tonight. I don't know what's there, but it's always good or interesting. I think that what we're building is a level of trust in our curatorship. It's really a home for Chicago-based companies. It's a place where we can nurture them and then to be a home away from home for really interesting companies from the rest of the world. The variety that we present and the quality we present, it's now become an outstanding venue highly recognized for presenting artistic excellence in music and dance. The theater is getting much more sophisticated about using the presented entities and really embedding a residency in the community itself. So there are master classes, lectures are given. So this kind of thing informs the ticket buyer about the product, but it also pulls the community into a presenter, and that's really important. It's about wanting to be relevant. It's about wanting to touch the hearts of as many people from as many different cultures and backgrounds and as many minds, touch the minds of so many people that represent the fabric of the world. And when there's a variety on stage, there's automatically a wonderful variety sitting out in the seats. And I think we're just able to now push that envelope even further and continue to grow those audiences. And then more importantly, share them with the other companies that use the stage at the Harris. It's just such a pleasure to work with the resident companies because they understand the gifts that we can offer and we certainly understand the gifts that they're giving us and Chicago. The whole idea of the resident companies, the variety, the scale, from small to big, from music to dance, from contemporary to classic, all of those things residing under one umbrella was a big idea for me because the potential from that is limitless. Our programming is challenging. Our programming is out of the ordinary. 
What happens to people when they sit here is what really counts. I've learned a lot from this theater. I'm very proud that I have this opportunity. I feel blessed as well that I can see art at so many levels in so many different ways in the city. But my great joy, obviously, is what we're doing here. We've gotten to where we've gotten because we worked hard, but a lot of it was dumb luck and the way it worked out. And good people, a great board and a wonderful staff who take tremendous pride in this place. This has exceeded our expectations so much that it's just hard to imagine. As we approach 15, we really can see a bigger picture. We really can see our relevancy in the city and how we're going to maintain it and how we might look in 100 years. Theater is challenging. The performing arts is a challenging world to be in. But when you sit in the theater and you have one minute of that experience, you suddenly realize, this is why I'm doing this. And I think that speaks directly to the mission of what the Harris is. We want to be here. We want to be part of this community. We want to provide life-changing opportunities for people. And we want people, most importantly, to feel like when they're at the Harris, they're at home.